Right, morning everyone. It's Thursday the what is it? The I'm gonna check on my watch actually. Thursday the fifth of August. You lose track of time, don't you? Oh, it's good, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Relaxing. Bit of rain overnight, first bit of rain. Oh, stunning day yesterday. It was nice temperature, twenty odd degrees to the beach. Today it we're going it's uh, a bit like that. At the moment it should be it rained heavy overnight. Um, the um, windbreaker took a bit of a bashing, so we took it down. Tent still up, isn't it? The uh, awning. So we're off to Land's End today. It's about 50 miles from here. So we'll take a nice little jaunt down there on the A30. Probably takes just over an hour in the van. Um, to the end of the country. We'll have a look there. Been down there for years. So we'll uh, have a mooch down at Land's End and uh, update you on the way down. Speak soon. Take care. Right, we're on the A30 on our way down to Land's End. Still a bit overcast, so we're trying to dodge the showers to be fair. Um, I love this little bit of scenery along here, that's really nice. Busy road though, busy coast road, industry. Everyone's on this road down into Cornwall, so. Uh, what do you reckon, Claire? Claire's never been to Land's End before, have you? I've been here for years, so uh, we might take in um, this as well before we leave Cornwall, won't we? So we'll, uh, we've got a few more days left in Cornwall, so we'll uh, see what's going on. Depends on the weather, really. That beach we found yesterday was lovely, wasn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful little beach. Hopefully, we'll go there tomorrow. Yeah, if it's dry and even if it's overcast, we'll still sit there and it's nice. Nice little spot. That's what I mean, thing around here, there's loads of little spots that you'd never find unless you weren't told about. We were told about that one on the site, weren't we? Lady said to us, we've been there, we were like, no, it's a mile and a half walk from the site. Near to where we were the, the, a couple of days ago with the other uh, beach. It's just starting to rain now, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll pick it up again in a little while when we uh, get near Land's End. Right, we're just coming to Land's End. Um, busy. Find somewhere to park, it's busy. I don't remember that. I remember it being on the A30. I don't remember it being that narrow coming in. So, uh, welcome to Land's End. Um, it's going to be a motorhome car park, I imagine, caravans and stuff. That's what we were told. So it really looks like here, actually. Yeah. So, it's a one way, so yeah, plenty of parking there. Yeah, we'll be alright. Yeah. Lots of people here. Um, Pay. This is the end of Britain. How much away? It was motor home ten. ten. Right, motor home ten pounds. Just park. Right, we parked at Land's End. Ten pound to park. We didn't think it was too bad for motor home. Um, plenty here today, isn't it, gang? Yeah, different. So we head over to there. Um, we're saying it's, it's brightened up a bit now, sun's, uh, trying sun's trying to come out, windy, um, looking forward to this one, bit of a track down, I mean it should have only been about over an hour but we got a lot of traffic didn't we? Annoying. Annoying but it is what it is, coastal traffic, loads of people out and about, so plenty here. So uh, let's have a look around, have a look at uh, what Land's End, Land's End has to offer. Looking forward to this one, Harrison? <laughs> Doesn't say much. Not on camera anyway. No. <laughs> right, we're just approaching the first and last uh, refreshment house in England, right at the corner, Land's End. So if you want an ice cream before you jump, grab an ice cream. And it's going to be Kelly's of Cornwall if you're going to be jumping. So at least you'll be in the sea when you've got a bit of Kelly's in your belly. <laughs> flying high up there plenty of places to take your money in there
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since you want to jump off. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lovely little cove down there, look. Cornwall's backbone. That's Cornwall's backbone, they call that, Claire. Yeah. What a view. That's it, Harrison. There's it, lane ticking, off you go. Two at the side. It says uh, New York. 3,147 miles that way. What do you reckon, Harrison? Huh? Yeah, you get your pictures done if you want to get your picture done. But that's it. That's it. New York that way. Beautiful, beautiful view though. Absolutely stunning. Stunning view. Right, we're in the UK oh, yeah. miles from Land's End, so uh, if you scroll across to where we live in Stevenage, there's a the thing as pink as yet. It's 331 miles to Stevenage. This the lady's looking for her town. Right, we're back in the van after our trip to Land's End, just in the car park, ready to depart. It's 874 miles to John O'Groats from here. Um, so we're not going to drive that today. And it's 300, how much back to Stevenage? 31. How many, how 331 miles back to Stevenage. But we haven't got to do that. We've only got to go 50 miles back to uh, Treswithian in uh, Truro where we're staying. Via Audi, of course. Mm -hmm. So that's our video done. I hope you like the video. If you like the, like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, please do click on the subscribe icon and you can subscribe to our channel. And if you click on notifications icon, you'll be able to get any future videos pop up on your uh, phone or your laptop or your tablet or whatever you use to get on the internet. So we're off now. Speak soon. Uh, another video to come on the Southwest tour. So speak soon.